Welcome to our last episode of College Book Reviews. Today we're gonna talk about Simone de Beauvoir, the woman de Beauvoir. Beauvoir. No. De Beauvoir. De Beauvoir. De Beauvoir. De Beauvoir. Welcome to our last episode of College Book Reviews. Today we're gonna talk about Simone de Beauvoir, the woman destroyed. <laughs> the woman destroyed. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gustavo. <laughs> the Woman Destroyed is about Monique, a boring, useless, and miserable middle-aged housewife who won't stop complaining for almost 200 pages. So, what did you think about The Woman Destroyed? What? Did you actually think that about the story? Well, maybe. <laughs> but why? Well, for me it was interesting because it actually shows you how girls can get in, in a depression yeah. Well, it was. I mean, I did think it was boring, but I think the point of the story was for me to think it was boring, you know, because the story, the story, you're like a guy. Yeah, no, the story is about uh, Monique, right? And she's always like falling deeper and deeper into this depression, mm -hmm. and it's like every page it gets it gets worse. And it's. I think the point of the story was for you to realize that you could do anything as a woman, as a strong, independent woman, you can do anything you want, but in that sense, it succeeded because in the end, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a miserable story, but <laughs> <laughs> you could um, kind of relate to Monique and notice that she could have done way more with her life, and I think that was the point of the story, that you kind of feel frustrated with the way Monique reacts to everything around her and that everything she does just makes it worse for her so it was boring but it was good but honestly i think that it's because you haven't heard about the story like in real life like you can relate to for example for me i had a friend my best friend who got in a, in a depression because her boyfriend broke up with her and she was like really really sad that's why I find this story like interesting but you are just like a guy like you don't care about feelings and that's why you don't you don't find it interesting okay maybe a lot of people don't believe me but I actually do have feelings no you don't <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that you and don't. interesting enough but the thing is I thought it was just so <laughs> it was just boring. It was, it, to me, to me, like I said, I mean, it was interesting and it succeeded in the way that it. At the end, I felt I felt for Monique, right? And I thought, and I was just bored that she was. I was I was annoyed. I was annoyed at Monique that she never actually did anything of purpose with her life. And in the end, she's just like uh, spoilers. She's just like. You know, in the end, she's left alone and with nothing to do with, like, <laughs> she thinks of, like, killing herself probably, like, five times. And, yeah. So, would you recommend The Woman Destroyed? Well, I actually did. But, I don't know, like, it's because, as I told you, I feel it. I, I see it, like, it with my my friend. And that's why, like, I... Yes, I will. I would also recommend it to anyone who wants to read um, 200 pages of a woman complaining about everything. But, if you want a more interesting story, I would recommend that you read Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no. But, no, I mean, it's good. It's, it's a good story, but, like I said, it's... Depressing and miserable and boring. And it only makes but you it, feel like it, sad. And it makes you feel like shit. Yes. Yeah. But it's an, it's a good story. It's well written, and in that sense, I would recommend it. Thank you for watching. Till next time, or maybe not. <laughs>